What is going on YouTube is Gadgets Boy and welcome to another video. So Acer has a new lineup of PCs and laptops for professionals and aspiring creators out there with the Concept D900 starting at $20,000. Would you pay that much to get creative? Is, is this the ultimate creator's dream machine? Uh, let's find out. So the Concept D900 is designed to run multiple complex and demanding applications. It features dual Intel Xeon Gold 6148 processors with up to 40 cores and 80 threads, an Nvidia Quadro RTX 6000 GPU and 12 memory slots for a total of up to 192 gigabytes of ECC memory. Acer considers this to be the ultimate creator's dream machine, something that could be perfect for filmmakers, animators, product designers, and architects to get lost in the creative process without worrying about the longer, the long render times. The Concept D900 also offers flexibility with up to two onboard M.2 PCIe slots. Its chassis design can hold up to five storage bays with RAID 0 of 1 compatible drives, and you can expand it with an extra onboard 3 PCIe times 8 or x8, sorry. The Concept D900 stays cool while running compute intensive applications such as rendering and video production through a thermal design that uses six cooling fans to draw air in through the triangular patterned front air panel. Moving on to the next one, the Concept D500. It's powered by the latest 9th gen Intel Core i9-9900K processor with eight cores, 16 threads, and reaching up to five gigahertz. Its multiple CPU cores achieve high single core speed while staying cool in low heat output and low power consumption. For graphics, you get up to an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000 GPUs. It supports four 5K displays or monitors at 60 Hz with HDR color. The Concept D500 is expandable with four DIMM slots for up to 64 gigabytes, two triple six megahertz DDR4 memory, and there's an onboard PCIe M.2 NVMe SSD. To stay cool, when running processor intensive applications, you get three cooling fans that draw air in through the triangular front panel, air panel, and noise level is kept low to 40 decibels so you don't annoy others at work, working around you. This is amazing. The top side features a wood grain inspired pattern with a fast charge Qi compatible wireless charging and an headset cradle as well that pops out so you can just dock your headphones when you're not using it. If you want something that you can carry from location to location though as a creative person or professional, then there's the Concept D9, the Concept D7 and the Concept D5. I'm still getting used to this naming uh, scheme here. The feature 4K ultra high definition IPS Pantone validator displays covering 100% of the Adobe RGB color gamut for color accuracy, the best one as, as much as possible. With a wide color gamut, displays achieve an impressive color accuracy of as low as less than one Delta E. They're also designed to be as quiet as possible when working with processor intensive applications uh, with the Asus 4th gen Aeroblade 3D fan with a noise reduction mechanism that emits less than 40 decibel of noise as well. Acer says it's equivalent to the noise level of a library. I mean, we're about to find that out if we do get one in for review. So this is great without compromising computing and graphics performance as well. The Concept D9 features Acer CNC machine Enzo Aero Inch, a 17.3 inch ultra high definition, so that's 3840 by 2160 display that flips, extends or reclines for multiple usage modes. It's very similar to what you might have seen with the Microsoft Studio machines, uh, Service Studio machines. It also features a Wacom EMR stylus that magnetically attaches to the Concept D9. For writing and sketching with 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity, so it's great for sketching and so on. The Concept D7 is just 17.9 millimeters thin and weighs just 2.1 kilograms, making it very easy to carry around from location to location. It features a 15.6 inch ultra high definition 4K IPS Pantone validator display with a wide color gamut of 100% of the Adobe RGB color space and a color accuracy of less than two uh, Delta E for color precision. Ports include a Thunderbolt 3, a mini display port, or sorry, mini DP ports, for connecting up to three external displays and features killer double shot pro Wi-Fi connection. Lastly, we have the Concept D5, which features an 8th gen Intel Core i7 processor with Radeon RX Vega MGL graphics. It's slim and light with a modern design and it's got this premium metal chassis with magnesium alloy, uh, magnesium aluminum alloy on top and a palm rest area and a magnesium lithium alloy on top as well. A lot of big words there. It weighs just 1.5 kilograms, it's 16.9 millimeters thin, and it has a 6.22 millimeter narrow bezel with, eight, with an 80% screen to body ratio. 
VConcept D5 as a 4K ultra high definition Pantone validator display. So this is something that's common across the board here. 100% Adobe RGB color gamut and a color accuracy of less than two Delta E for color reproduction. You can configure the D5 uh, with up to 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and up to one terabyte of NVMe PCIe SSD storage in RAID 0. The Concept D5 comes with a USB Type-C Gen 1 supporting up to 5 gigabits uh, per second data transfers, a display port and an embedded fingerprint reader which also supports Windows Hello. Now that you know all the specs and what they're all about, would you spend $20,000 on a desktop uh, computer for rendering graphics and editing videos? Let us know in the comments below. Pricing and availability would be in the description area. Overall first impressions, the laptops feel great. Uh, I like the color scheme here, plain white, it looks very minimalist and clean. The Concept D9 uh, laptop, again, it reminds me of the Microsoft Surface Studio machine. Again, if you look at the pricing in the description area, you'll be able to judge for yourself. It's something that you can uh, afford, or even if you can afford it, is it something that you'd rather spend money on that? Or are there other options available on the market that can do the same job? I mean, the Concept D9 looks very bulky, you know, the bezels and everything looks, in terms of design, looks not too up to date, up to modern times, I would say. But again, that's just a matter of preference. In the meantime, guys, do subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, smash that like button. It does really help me out a lot. And if you haven't clicked that notification bell button, make sure you click that as well for future coverage of these devices and many more videos on the channel. And you'll be one of the first people to know when they go up. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.